Joe, thanks for spending a bit of time with me, mate. Nice no to see worries. you. How are you? Yeah, all good. Yourself? Yeah, really good. How you feeling? You're looking good. No, I feel good, yeah. It's obviously been a decent start to the season, yeah. um, which always helps. Just got to back that up tomorrow night. And I think a bit of congratulations is in order. Engaged over oh, the yeah. summer as well. Thank so you very much. Yeah, yeah. Soon? Soonish next year? Uh, I think 2025. Hopefully, we're going to have the Euros in the summer. Obviously, we've still got a bit of work to do with regards to that. But, yeah, so hopefully I'm going to be busy in 2024. Might even have a little promotion medal to, uh, that's, that's to also, bring along to the, the big day. I don't want to get carried away, but hopefully, yeah. I've listened to a lot of the stuff that you've done in the past. You've spoken to Andy Moon after games. You go out and speak to Max. You've spoken to Pepe a couple of weeks ago. You're always incredibly honest. I'm always really struck by you come out, you front up, you, you say it how it is. And I, I think it's going to be a, a great chat. So I really appreciate you coming to have a little chat. No worries. I know your mum and dad will probably be watching as well, because oh, I know they're, they're pretty big fans. Nothing better to do, I don't think. No. <laughs> so, a quick little story. Bristol Row was away last season. I spotted your mum, yeah. and she came over, came out of chat, and I went, oh, where's, where's Dave? And she oh, he's getting the drinks. He'll be over in a minute. And then Dave appeared about a couple of minutes later and came over, and the first thing he said to me was, how did I know she was going to be stood here with oh. you, just chatting away? And I was Too like, sociable there, I think. I'll give you a little, little present in the bag. Oh. If available now. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is that going to fit me? You give it a go. Put it on? You, no, you don't have to wear it for the whole thing, but it just... Oh, it's a bit big, but... <laughs> it's a bit big. I'll wear that, yeah. Walking the dog, there we go. Nice, that. Are you um, selling them, then? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. He's got one on as well. link in the... Where are they available? Uh, oh, yeah, it's a link. Fall over it all over it. Co. UK. if you want to go and grab one. I want to start by um, something you said a couple of years ago. Two years ago, or, uh, three, over two years ago now, you said you needed a home in football, and you hope that that's happened here. How much do you love it when a plan comes together? Yeah, I think that was that was the reason why I came here. Obviously, to have success here as well, um, which hopefully will come. But I think I've definitely found a home in football. That was certainly the the plan coming here. Um, you like, I love living here. Amazing place to live, um, and it's an amazing football club to play for. Obviously, the supporters are a big part of me coming here, and they've lived up to my expectations. And, and something I've said, you know, to the new lads who've joined and, and to people in the past is that you know the supporters have been so so good and we haven't really achieved anything since I've been here. So, you know, I go to bed at night thinking, you know, what could be and and if we are successful at this football club, I can't think of a better club to, to get promoted with, that's for sure. I've seen you kissing the badge, gripping it tightly towards the front and end when it's in front of you. You really love it here, don't you? No, it's it's a club that, that means a lot to me. You know, I've only been here, this is my third season now, um, but like you said, I feel like it has been a home in football. And I'm just that type of player, I think. I think it means, you know, I'm, I'm not one of those that turns up, does the job and go, goes home. It's, you know, it's more important to me than that. And I think that's, you know, I play my best football because of that. You know, at times, obviously, that's gone a bit too far last season. I keep getting reminded of that. But yeah, this is a football club that, that I feel, yeah, it's definitely been a home for me and, and certainly means a lot to me. Yeah, I just hope that I can, I can be here for a long time. Should we keep wandering? Yeah. I was going to touch on the red cards. I don't want to touch it too much because I don't think it's really worth talking about. <laughs> I thought you were really unlucky at Fleetwood away last season. The MK1 I didn't see. And then at the weekend, me and him were sat there at Leighton Orient. This has been recorded a little bit before when it comes out. But Leighton Orient at the weekend, Fawnie written all over it, by the way. So thanks very much for that. that sent, sent the <laughs> that phone plan, yeah. That was, that was yeah. the plan all along, was it? You pulled out a couple of times when I think before maybe you might have gone in. Is that something that you're thinking about at the minute? Uh, or? I think maybe in the back of my mind. I think the important thing for me is I've got to find the balance between not losing that edge to my game because listen, I'm five foot nothing. I'm, I'm not quick. I have to be able to be aggressive and be intense and be horrible to play against. But also I need to not take that too far and that's conversations I've had with the manager. You know, this year for me, I want to be able to play 46 games and I know that might be difficult. I might pick up five bookings or whatever. I might pick up a little injury here or there. But for me to play every game, that's that's the main thing. And and so maybe it's in the back of my mind a little bit, but of course I don't want to completely change my game because, yeah, I wouldn't be the same player I am, I don't think, without that. I think you've played your best football for Pompey post-World Cup. <laughs> Sort of, I think well, that's when we've seen you at your best, I thought, and obviously that World Cup gives you a massive boost. And particularly actually when Messino came in, I think he, he gave you a real boost. It was a slightly different side to your game that we saw. W what is, what are the conversations been like with him this season? Has he set you a target of more goals? Is it just more of the same? Is it a, a, something completely different? I think I think for sure, obviously getting the World Cup out of the way, I was really, really looking forward to, to being at the World Cup, which obviously for a Welsh footballer is massive. Um, and I think I agree with you off the back of that, I was better because of it. And I think the manager, we've had conversations this year and, and about adding goals to my game and I think in the system this manager plays there's certainly a lot more freedom to get forward and yeah adding more numbers to my game because that's obviously been a weakness over the last few years I mean I got a few assists last year but you know I want to be that midfielder who does everything um, 
and I feel like I can do everything to a decent level without being amazing at anything. So it's just about trying to add more goals and assist to my game. I think that's a natural target. And you're coming up to 40 appearances in a well shirt as well. How good does yeah. that feel? No, really good. I mean, I've always said, you know, that's a that's a pinch me moment really to, to have played once in my country was something that uh, I never thought was going to be possible. But yeah, 36 caps, I think it is. You know, World Cup, European Championships, hopefully many more. Yeah, really, really happy with that. And the hero, Max oh. Swatton's just come in with Perfect. an umbrella for us. So we'll, uh, we'll continue with one of those. What's it like playing alongside a man like Marlon Pack in the Pompey engine room? Yeah, really good. I feel like, feel like we've had a good connection. Um, obviously, I played with him previously at Bristol City as well. Someone I get on yeah, really well with off the pitch. And I hope that translates on the pitch. You know, I think we've got different qualities, but I think like we can complement each other quite well. And yeah, just a really experienced guy, a real leader, you know, probably one of the best, well, probably the best captain I've had. Um, Seriously? I think so, yeah. I think obviously he was, he was in the same role at Bristol City, really. And since, since he's been here, he's kind of been a captain anyway. But obviously he wasn't in name last season, but he always shows the qualities of a captain. And he's someone, yeah, like I said, we can, we can bounce ideas off and, and try to do what's best for the football club on and off the pitch. Should you go for a bit more of a one Yes. Half? It's, you mentioned, is, is that all right? Is yeah, that a good right. height? Because you said you're five you foot yourself, nothing. You I, keep yourself dry. Well, no, no. <laughs> you, no, no, you're fine. all right. That's fine. You're in there. It's, it's not official merchandise. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not Pompey Blue either, oh. which is a disaster. You mentioned qualities of a captain. I think you show qualities of a captain. How seriously do you take that? Would you consider yourself a captain without the armband? I think it's not something I've ever, ever thought about, really. We've got a leadership group here. There's, there's a few of us. Which and, is? Which is me, Marlon, Colby and Joe Rafferty. And I think that's just about trying to do what's best for the team and obviously a bit of a bridge between the management and the, the players. And it, yeah, it's not something I've ever considered. Of course, if, if that happens one day, um, you know, it'd be a proud moment, but it's, I wouldn't change the way I am. You know, I'm, I'd like to think I'm the same person with or without an armband. And obviously we've got a fantastic club captain in Marlon. It's just about assisting him as, as best as possible because I think any, any successful team has a lot of leaders on the pitch. Um, and I think that's the case here. We've got, we've got a few this year. And you talked about all the experience of Marlon Pack. How has it been inviting and, and bringing Alex Robertson into that midfield? Because obviously completely at the other end of the spectrum in terms of experience. Offers something different. You talked about that midfield there. How is important how important is it to you and Marlon that he's, you know, he's looking to you boys, Welsh International, all the experience that Marlon has. You, you're bringing him into the early part of his league career in, in English football, really. Yeah, I think it's the same with all the young players. Obviously, we've had a lot of young, especially loanees over the past few seasons. And I think it's important. You know, I wouldn't class myself as super experienced, but relatively experienced in this team this year because obviously we're quite a young team um, and it's always important to offer guidance and anything that they need and help on the pitch because obviously we all remember what we were like at 20 years old and 21 on our first loans um, and I had fantastic experienced players around me at that time and obviously coming from at Bristol City with people like Marlon you kind of put yourself in their shoes and and try and remember what it was like and just to offer little little bits of guidance if they need it. Listen, Alex Robertson's a top player. He's going to be a fantastic player. Hopefully he's going to be brilliant for us this year. I'm sure he will be. So he doesn't need me to tell him how to do a cross turn or to um, do a step over and put it in the top corner. But he might need you know little tips on other things and, and things that happen in League One that don't happen where he's been playing before. Should wander over that yes. way. I know you say you don't consider yourself all that experienced. I reckon you're probably the, one of the more experienced boys in the squad now. You think about all the changes over the summer as well. How has that been, bringing so many new players into a dressing room? Have you found it easier because there's been so many changes or was it more difficult because there's a, such a sheer number of them? I, th I think it helps when they're good personalities. I think that's what we've seen this year is obviously we've had a big change over of players, but a lot of the players are really, really good lads, really keen to improve and they came here for the right reasons. I think the recruitment's been really, really good which is not a surprise to us. Um, you know, we know a good Rich is at his job and, and his team and the manager. So it's not really a surprise. I think it's something that I've been used to since I've been here. You know, I've been involved, it's my third year and it's almost my third different squad, if you like. And I'm, I think I've been here the third longest now, which is ridiculous, really. So it's something I've been used to. Um, but like I said, I think it's been made easier this year because the personalities that we brought in have been really, really good. Um, really young, really hungry, really willing to get better. and. We all want to get promoted, we're all in that same boat, and that's that's the ambition. That's the if anyone needs any extra motivation, which I'm sure they don't play for this club, but if they do, that would be the, the light at the end of the tunnel, hopefully. Do you have a closest mate in the squad? I know you've got the Forest connection from Colby, you've got Marlon <laughs> you mentioned in there, maybe even Bristol City with Riley as well, yeah. Wales with Regan, and perhaps. To, and to be fair, I think there's a the good thing about this squad is we don't have little groups, it's not you know, there's not little cliques and, and little groups that just speak to each other. I mean, we go for a coffee after training sometimes and maybe in the past there's been five or six of us and I think this year there's been double figures and awesome. I think little things like that, you know, people might not see it as important but can really add up and, and 
hopefully be the hallmark of a successful team. It's not me shaking it, it's quite windy. I don't know if it looks like we're blowing all over the place. My, it was a little bit of a side note, my brother and sister-in-law had a little baby a little while ago. So my little nephew, he's obviously following in Uncle Tom's footsteps oh. as a Pompey fan. There he is. Oh. Any ideas what his name is? Well, if you're asking me, yeah, it's probably. He's got the same trim as Conor Ogilvy, though. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like I'm. Yeah, it's got to be Joe, isn't it? Is it is Joseph, yeah. yeah. Not named after me, actually. Well, I'm telling myself no, that it be. is. Don't, well, don't I, I don't yourself. know whether they did. Brennan Johnson, a lot of love for him. Yeah, no, someone I get on really well with. And he gets me a lot of tickets to go and watch Forest whenever I need him, so hopefully, hopefully he stays this season. There you go. A couple of times on camera, when, when you've scored, I don't know, that hasn't been too many yeah, times. What, the once, is that the, what you mean? The once. Yeah, uh, yeah. That, um, can I count Bogner? No, really, no. Yeah, uh, that was a scream. I'm, I'm not counting it. Oh, I loved it, though. Yeah. We're right behind it. it was right, we'll, we'll count it. If you, if you do something unbelievable on the pitch, I go, Joe Morrell, you little dancer. Can I stick with that? Or is <laughs> oh, that... You can, you can yeah? sit what you want, mate. I'll sit with that. Yeah, as long right. as it's pleasant, I don't mind. Oh, always pleasant. What have you made, like, the rule changes with the adding on more time, that I kind think, of thing? I think it could be pretty dangerous. I think, I think going forward, like, you're playing four or five extra games a season. Yeah, it's a lot of football. I think it adds up, adds up over time. Better for the supporters, obviously. And better for the game, like how many teams have we seen come to Fratton Park and waste time? And um, but I think from a player, like I think you you are playing almost four or five games a season more, which you know there's a lot of football at the minute, and I think could potentially have a detrimental effect. But who knows? I'm not I'm not complaining about it because it's more football. Just then to end, I wondered if you'd be happy to do a couple of quick fire questions, yes. Gary Neville overlap style. Yeah, it's got that kind of vibe, isn't it? We'll get, well, it's definitely that kind of vibe. Number 16, so we'll go with 16 questions. Oof, nice. Has that got any relevance, the number 16? Uh, it was my first number as a kid, and I used to love watching Roma when I was younger and, and De Rossi. So I used to love watching De Rossi, and he obviously wore 16 quite famously. Um, so it's come from that, really. Nice. And then, yeah, I've stuck with it. Favourite TV show? Uh, or one you're watching right now? I'm watching Below Deck with my girlfriend now, or fiance now. Yeah, um, I was say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going through all them, so I'll say that. But Entourage, probably, as a classic one, I'd say. What do you do to relax and switch off? I reckon walking the dogs Walk is going to be answer that. Uh, watch plenty of sport. I love watching sport, uh, American sports. Uh, but I'd say wa wa uh, walking the dog and the coffee. You're a big NFL fan, aren't you? I'm a big NFL yeah. fan, yeah. Holiday destination? I'm going to go with Tuscany, probably. Favourite sport other than football is NFL, then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. NFL. Well, I like the NBA as well, but I'd go NFL. What probably. do you reckon you'd be if you weren't a footballer? What would you be doing? Oh, I wouldn't be in the NFL, that's for sure. I would, if I wasn't in football at all, I would, I don't know, I'd, Maybe maybe politics. I'm quite interested nice. in politics. So yeah, maybe something like that. You're a Rishi fan or a... I'm not a Rishi fan, we'll no. put it that way. You can't be living here, can you? Best player you've ever played with or against? Uh, with, I'd have to say Gareth Bale. I think it's a pretty easy one. I think most people who've played with him would say the same. Against, uh, probably go either Modric or Verratti. There's some names in yeah, there, played, aren't there? I've played against Mbappe as well, but obviously not. I like to pick midfielders normally. So I'd go Modric or Verratti. Two good ones. Best atmosphere at Fratton Party you've experienced? Oof. Is there one you can pick out? Because it's normally pretty good. Bolton was good last year, so we'll go with that off the top of my head. I'm sure there's probably been ones that are up there. We'll go with Bolton. Favourite city other than Pompey? Bristol, where I grew up. I like Bristol. Football team you support growing up, Forest. Yeah, Forest. Liverpool when I was really young, and then my dad got me into Forest, unfortunately, so I'd say Forest. Best away ground? Uh, I always like playing at Hillsborough. I enjoyed Derby last year. Um, For more than one reason. Yeah, no. <laughs> so I'd go, I'd go Derby. Obviously played at some decent ones, but I'd, yeah, Derby's a nice stadium to play at. I was going to say Messi or Ronaldo, but I feel like it's better to go like Mbappe or Haaland these days. Yeah, that is a, I haven't been asked that one. I always get Messi or Ronaldo, but I'm going to go Mbappe. What would you say, Messi or Ronaldo That's then? A stupid question, Messi. Lads. Every single day. There's a few lads who say Ronaldo. And Are we going to name and shame or? Josh Oluyemi. I've had a few arguments with him about it. Um, <laughs> I think he's finally admitted it now. Uh, but for the other one, I'd go and back. Funniest player in the Pompey squad? Uh, rough, probably. He's funny. Scouser, isn't he? Favourite Pompey memory so far? And much oh. more to make, I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. Favourite Pompey memory? Again, I enjoy, really enjoyed Derby last year. Just because I think when you've got the away support we have, um, and it was a really good, a decent performance and a decent result. At Bolton was really good. I enjoy Tuesday nights at Fratton Park. Like, I, don't, I think it's a stadium that just thrives on a Tuesday night. And I'm sure a lot of people say that about other stadiums, but Fratton Park on a Tuesday, you can't beat it. So I'll probably go Bolton. 
Can I give you my Pompey, favourite Pompey memory of you? Go on. So it was Spain, not this year, just gone last year. It was the first time I've ever met you. And you came over, you've been on the, it was an open training session on the Friday. You came over to us, had a little chat after the game, uh, oh, not after the game, after the training session with the fans. You went, more people want pictures of you these days than you do <laughs> us Pompey players. Yeah. And that just, I, I don't think it's strictly true, but I, I, it just probably, probably not far off. Sporting icon, doesn't have to be football. Oh, sporting icon. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go football. I, I read like Xavi Iniesta when I was younger. I just grew up loving watching them as a small midfielder. I'd go with them, and yeah, I'd probably say yeah, either of them. The person you admire most in your life? Person? I'd say my. I have to say my fiance, don't I? That's it. I? I just love coming home, win, lose or draw, and I've got my missus there, my dog there, and they don't care. I've got on, and Oops. I think that's that's important because I'm one of them. If I was on my own and I had a bad game or we'd lost, like my weekend's ruined. But when I've got other people there, it kind of makes it a little bit easier to forget about it sometimes. And then last one, you've touched on it a little bit. Biggest ambition next season for Pompey, both personally and as a team? I think it's an easy question. Um, I think getting promoted, I, think, I don't think there's a better football club to get promoted with. Um, and hopefully we'll find that out. Joe, that was unreal. No Thank you so much, mate. Appreciate you, it. Mate. Do we need an umbrella? Uh, is it yeah, still raining? Yeah. It's literally stopped as we finished. <laughs>